Welcome back to New Horizons. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. All right. Now for today's news. Shamblonia gained a new neighbor today, Audie. If you happen to see her, please give her a warm welcome. All right, it's time for our usual announcement of the day. For all you DIY loving island residents out there, I have a very special announcement. DIY veterans can now take place in a customization workshop. Uh, hot. Learning how to customize will help you change up the look of any DIY projects. I have no doubt it'll help broaden your creative expertise. I'll conduct this workshop inside resident services. Okay. That's all from me. Hope you enjoy another luxurious day of Shambolonia living. I thought all of them... I guess it's only one villager per day that can move in, so... Audi's first. Okay, I've been having some technical issues with the capture card, so... If I stop for a sec, it's because I'm monitoring it. I just want to make sure everything's cool, but it should be okay. Alright, well, that's the first museum artwork, so... Cool. I'm just gonna start by putting some stuff away. I probably should have done this last time. <laughs> yeah, I should have definitely did this before I ended last time. Okay. Good to go. I guess I'll just get out of swimsuit for now and get some new clothing from the store. It'll, uh, let me at least... Because I think it works the same way, like, you just have to spend money there and they'll move in eventually. So I'll send what I can. Hey, hi there. All oh, right. Didn't I see you back at the store a while back? I knew you looked familiar. No worries if you forgot, but my name's Mabel. I'm an old friend of Timmy, Tommy, and Tom Nook. We go way back. Anyway, that's how I heard about Chamblonia and came out here to sell clothes and stuff. My dream is to have my own shop right here on the island, but I've got to build a customer base first. I'll try to stop by a couple times a week, so if you see me around, don't be a stranger, all right? Oh, hey, since you're, like, right here, you want to see the stuff I'm selling? Great, let me just open up today's catalog. <laughs> there's there's a reason why I'm familiar. Maybe I'm a disgraced mayor from a town you used to have a shop in. Mm, that might be it. Uh, but yeah, I'll buy whatever I can. Also, that caterpillar outfit. That doesn't look like a caterpillar outfit. What is this? I'll get it. Uh, it's not that I'll wear it, but... To contribute to the local economy, but also so they can open a store. Yep. I guess I'll guess this. I'm not sure how much money you need to spend with them, but... I'll spend as much as I can. I pretty much bought the stuff that I could potentially use. Okay. Oh, they open. Okay. Right, let's see what I can put on. 
Dandy. Nerd glasses. Caterpillar. <laughs> Loafers. Hmm. I might go with with the rank. Uh, mm, maybe, maybe I can go back to the house and pick some other clothing. I don't know. I mean, this is all right for now, but I'm probably going to change out of it. I'll stall what I just bought. Today I want to try and lay some paths down, but I think I might not be able to. Because I think that pro patterns thing where you can browse for people's patterns isn't till later. But I guess I'll, I'll have a look. See if I can. But yeah, not until after the morning stuff is done. Worst well, comes to worst, I just, uh, I guess pay off the loan today. And now to get changed in my fridge! <laughs> I need to build a wardrobe or something. Okay. I mean... Maybe this, I don't know. I might go back to the Power Ranger suit if I get bored. suck. I think the capture card's fine. It was being a little weird before, but I think I can go on without it. I don't know. I gotta look into this later, but... If it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I'll just go back to what I had, it's fine. Okay. Oh, only one of them moved in. Hey, we'll have a minute. Check it out. Somewhere around Jumping Jack 1,797, I get the sense of total clarity and purpose, and I had an idea. You met Audi, right? The one that just moved in? Well, if we get enough hyper-athletes like that to move here, we could start our own cricket team. You know, or just have a bunch of cool workout buddies to hang out with. Either way, Shorty. So my idea was to stick decorations around so we can track more first-round neighboring talent. I pitched this to Rocket, and we both agreed. It should be you who throws out the inaugural first decoration. Uh, but I don't... Public bench. Your call. Game on. Oh. Guess in front of the museum. Hold on. All oh, right. I mean, whatever. <laughs> I don't like these chairs, but it'll do. Thank you. 
<laughs> well, just like you said, this place is so... has so much great vibes. I'm so glad I moved. I can tell this is where the universe wants me to be, you know? Good things are going to happen here. I bet some of those good things are even going to happen to folks who aren't me. Come visit again once I'm done cleaning, okay? Okay. I guess one per day. Why is it here? I'm just gonna do all the morning stuff and then I guess I'm gonna start laying things out. I'm surprised she was first. Oh, it's you. Hey, yeah, hey, you live on this island. Thought so. I'm from, like, the next island ever. My name's Harvey. Glad to meet you, friend. You can call me Harv if you want. I wonder why no one does that. This is the they part just so much fun to say. Sorry, got a bit sidetracked there. I came for a reason. Give me a minute and I'll remember why. Got it. I keep hearing about this island and how much folks dig the scene here. So I thought I'd check it out. I'm gonna start this Far Out Artist Collective, and I'm looking for ideas. So, what's the deal? I'd heard this place was deserted, like literally a deserted island. You the honcho that put this place at the head of the class? Wait, this old noodle just had a casserole of an idea. You should visit my island. Just hit the airport and tell him you want to go to Harv's Island. That's the name of my pad. Groovy, right? Anyway, nice drawing with you. I'm gonna stroll around and see what makes Shamblonia tick. Oh, right. I forget that when you do this, it can't. That's fine. So I've been browsing stuff to kind of decorate with. I have some stuff that I want to use. I go to the effort of drawing stuff out, but I think it's easier to just browse the good looking things. There's plenty out there. <laughs> the surprise box. Except I got the tulip one. Right, let me find the fossils and then I'll get onto it.
I should probably clean up. this last fossil. <laughs> I didn't pick these up yesterday. That's probably up top. I mean, it'll get me money, but I think I also need some to hang on to. I think it's just here. The other fossils, fossils probably hidden somewhere sneaky, like behind a tree or something. Thank you. 
Okay, there's way more. Gave me pink lilies. There's a lost item here. Who could even get up here? one Let's try fishing up here as well there's stuff to get that's exclusive to the mountain That was instant. Hey, dice. I wish it didn't grow here. Like, all this is out of sight. Yeah. 
never ending. I thought there was only a little bit left. Well, at this point, I should just finish it off. It shouldn't be too much. Bamboo to do that. that I spell on the clothing. Okay. Well, in terms of stuff that needs to go... also needs to go. Oh, there we go. Diplo, Dukas. Pretty sure it's the same. 
Yeah, stout fellow, and then steady leg, center of gravity. Wait, have I got the full thing now? No, okay, not yet. Oh wow, I got two duplicates today. Spino tail. Go for it. Spinosaurus was a very large carnivorous, roughly the size of a T-Rex. Unlike its famous cousin, however, Spinosaurus seems to have been a great deal... spent a great deal of time in water. Similar to modern crocodiles, this creature lived on a diet of fish and land-dwelling animals. Personally, I'm simply relieved that it did not seek flying prey. Dace. Dace, a shiny little fish that enjoy freshwater streams with gravelly bottoms and plenty of sunlight. Gravelly bottoms, not gravely. Um, what a fishy paradise until the larger fish move in and begin eating the dace. Sadly, the shiny dace are easy for other fish to spot, which makes them a popular snack. However, this particular specimen here has no need to worry. There's a strict no eating your neighbor policy at this institution. There you have it. The art now. First piece of art. A jolly painting, genuine article. Yeah, I'm surprised I don't do facts about the art. Right, art has begun. Again, in the interest of progressing the shot. making. Sweet. This is really coming along. What you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Check it out. I'm making a dark wooden mosaic wall. The stuff takes major elbow grease, so I like to go all in on it. It's worth the effort, though. Yeah, do it. 
Okay. Ah, uh, is it water the plants? I hope not. I forgot to check in if they had lost the item. Wasp and stars, not too, not sure why. Cabin wall for now. Mm. All right. Or a skeptical mouse. as they were around just before. They can't have gotten far. Oh, here you are. Even when it rains, you can still have fun. Did you lose this? Huh? You had my workout journal? Thanks for finding it. Oh, I guess. Yeah, here's a little something. It's a small thank you. Yeah, your very own new smelling sleeve apron. <laughs> new smelling? Do 
actually have to say it like that. All right. All right, now. I don't think I can access the... the patterns browser. Hang on, maybe I can. I forgot how you do this. Let me go to... It might be up for purchase. Ah, oh, well, hello, hello. As you might have heard on today's broadcast, I'm now offering a new workshop on customization. I think you'll find this even more fun when you master the skill. Do hope you take me up on this opportunity. Okay. See, it doesn't work that way. Dancers. Just save it for the time being. Got that workshop. Ready to dip your toes into the delightful waters of customization? Well, go for it. Yes, yes, that's the spirit. Let's get started. I believe a brief explanation about customization is in order. Honestly, it's incredibly simple. First, you need the item you want to customize, along with the required number of customization kits. Then you'll customize your item at the workbench. The design or color will change in the blink of an eye. I do believe you'll find this easier to understand once you try it yourself, so let's get started. Your goal for this session will be to make a wooden wardrobe and then do some customizing. This might be old news to you, but you could use your custom colored wardrobe to put your, on your own fashion show. That freedom of expression is just the sort of thing we enjoy here on Shamblonia. Oops, you're going to need the DIY recipe. Let me just send that over right now. All set. Okay. Yeah, I think I need the... the app to be able to browse paths with codes. the apron on the wall. Oh. Sure. <laughs> okay, that's multiple times that's got it in the way. I need to move it. Put in the wardrobe. That one.
I'm probably gonna need axes. Chopping down wood, so. Workshop now. Ah, oh, you've got the wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. I'll give you the customization kits you'll need in a moment. For now, please stop. Step up to the workbench. Hmm, looks like you're ready with your wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. First, I'll give you some customization kits. Next, pull out your wardrobe and try customizing it. Yes, yes, masterfully done. As you've seen, customizing items is quite easy when you have customization kits on the workbench. You can take the extras from today as my gift to you. Use them in your future customization projects. Hmm? As a graduate of my workshop, you'll now be able to buy any kits you want from the shop. Now, for the most part, you can customize furniture or other projects you made from DIY. However, some of the mass market, market furniture items in the shop can also withstand some customization. For example, you might be able to change an item's fabric or add a custom design to it. Figuring out what you can customize or how it can, how you can customize, it can be a lot of fun. And this concludes my workshop on customization. I hope you enjoy putting on a fashion show in your home using your custom wooden wardrobe. Now, take a break. Hmm? I do believe you've earned it. So this doesn't look so horrible. That's, that's normal, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Hmm. 
I'm just going to do it to the corner there. I'm going to move this just because it's uh, kind of in the way right now. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to customize this. Just can't do it here. It's not customizable, okay. That's unfortunate. Eat the coconut. Skin on. Yes, yeah.
Alright, shot. Hopefully none of these have wasps in them. I was running low on wood, so... Ah, damn it. I keep double swinging. with that. I've already got it. I'll be fine. That had to happen at some point. That's everything from this side of the river. Mm. Oh. 
jeez. <laughs> That's already 500. That didn't take long. that one missed. I was gonna say, this axe has lasted a long time. Okay, uh, it's alright, I got plenty. Double swinging. I can't swap to the net quick enough. Like, I should probably shake the tree first. But I'm being lazy. I guess I won't find out until Monday how that other house looks like, if it's going to line up or not. I got the feeling it's not going on, I'm going to have to move it. What am I hearing? Oops, no, <laughs> not that. <laughs> I haven't been able to find a single wharf roach. But I need one. My bug collection isn't complete without a wolf roach. Where could one be? I'll catch it. You sure? That'll be a play of the year material. Thanks. Okay. Would 
What do you want with a wolf wretch? Okay, he did say bug collection, but still. Oh, no, there. Okay. I was going to say, one stack of softwood. There goes axe number two. That's where the money tree is today, okay. I've got more to do. I just ran out so quickly, I want to make sure that I don't have to do this for a while. Wait, really? Already? Okay. 
Oh, wait, I have another one here. I wonder why that other one just didn't last long. I can't believe how little soft wood I've gotten compared to the other woods. Wow, <laughs> oh, this is an awkward spot. I have to wait until it gets further inland. Probably gonna fall in the river if I shoot it now. I can't even hit it. Alright, just wait a minute. My bed got upgraded. I don't get what the point of the wheel is if it just gets rid of what you had on the wheel the moment the tool breaks. Hold on. War for it. Oh, it was a Nookmile thing as well. The bug. Oh, 
skull. It's a Warforge. Thanks, you really brought that victory home. Here's your trophy. You got what I needed, so... I got you something you need. It's a rocket lamp. It's brand new. I've never used it for strength training. Not even once. Ignore that sweat stain. Ugh. <laughs> Stone stool. Okay. I mean, kind of coincidental. <laughs> Even with the little... Okay. Yes, I, I sleep right next to the intercom. I don't think I have large tables or anything. What did I just get? I got something. Well, I mean, this is going to be beneficial if it's selling for quite a bit. I don't know how much it's going to sell for, but we'll see.
One day we will get craft like multiple items at once. stack of uh, 60 stones. See how much all this sells for. I don't know how much I'm gonna get. Alright. At the very least I'll get the miles for it. <sighs> okay. Hey Gami, what's up? Alright. Is it hot? Nah, not at all. It's not hot here at all. That's not bad. I mean, for just stones, damn. That's pretty good. Oh, now I get the wood chopping one. Ah, <sighs> okay. I think I put my swimsuit away. Oh, no, it's here. That's fine, it's fine. It was hot around 32, but not extremely hot. Some people would call that extremely hot. Not me, but... And that's some Europeans that would melt at the thought. That's fine here. I never did find the scallop yesterday. Well, I wanted to lay down some patterns and stuff, but... I 
I think I need to progress more because the pro designer thing doesn't let you browse yet. Is that a large fish? Hang on. Can't tell. It might be. Shadow just pulls me every time. like a large shadow but ah oh, it's gone now doesn't matter I've been trying not to fish as much this time around Oh, this might be something. There we go. Stoner order. Hey man, how about that scallop of yours? Can I have it? Sure. Well, oh, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you were cool, I left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. If 13 is an unlucky number, why do they call it a baker's dozen? That's a free donut, man. Wrap your noodle around that. Yep, today is a good day. Just off into the sunset. Otter reminds me of my co cousin a little bit. Often says things like that. <laughs> Hello, Lucky Coins. How's it going? Well, I gotta find another one because I want to donate it, so I'll probably just hang around in the water for a bit longer. At least until I fill inventory up. What is this? Oh. I got that before, but I got it. I guess I just landed on top of it. I don't remember it being that quick.
Thought it'd be something new. to give me anyway. Oh, Pearl. Same thing again. Come on. Come on. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to find a scallop. Critters. Oh, that was one. Doesn't look like it's moving too quickly.
Two more. I'll have to do like a nighttime standard play at some point. Damn, I've almost paid off the loan. I'm pretty sure it's... I think it's like 96k. Let me have a look. Okay. All right, one more lap. Excellent. Catch one of those octopus that should be enough. Oh, that might be it. Ah, dive. Gotcha. Wait, that's an oyster. That was an octopus. Hey Sherry, your favorite game is New Horizons. That's cool. Have you played any of the other games in the series or just this one? I've only played this and New Leaf. By the time I do this whole lap, it should be enough to pay off the loan.
seaweed. Yeah. I'm not having much luck here. Oh, cool. Alright, there we go. I can go donate that. Now Stoner Otter can have them all. gonna catch up to it. Ah. Uh. Oh, damn, this one's extra fast. Holy crap. I think I might have to be more tactful. <laughs> awesome. Okay. That's a new one. Wish I could sell it. But I need to donate it. Probably have enough of a loan now.
gonna be sad if I don't have enough. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go see. Learn about the snow crab. The snow crab truly lives up to its name, what what? They are most often found in cold northern seas. Some have even been discovered living in the Arctic Ocean. Indeed, snow crabs prefer to live in deep water that never gets more than three degrees above freezing. Just thinking about the icy environs is giving me the chills. Ah, the scallop. It just goes to show you can't keep a good bivalve down. While most members of its family are known for staying put, the scallop is a nimble fellow indeed. When a hungry sea star approaches, the scallop can swim away by clap, clap, clapping its shells together. How does a scallop know when a predator approaches, you ask? Why? It has 200 eyes to see with. It makes one wonder what else the scallop sees with all those eyes. I fear it sees into my very soul. I clearly did not know about scallops. Okay. Please be like at least 8,000 bells. I get the feeling it's not going to be. Z uh, hold on. Did I accidentally sell something expensive? What's going on here? That seems like a lot. What did I do? Maybe those pearl oysters are worth more than I thought. Okay, I guess. Alright, debt paid. Are you clapping with one hand? Slapping it against your chest? I guess you can clap with one hand, I can do it. Well, hello there, Will. Congratulations, you are the proud owner of a luxuriously sized, paid in full home. I can't imagine the feeling of satisfaction you must have. Truly, what could be better, hmm? Well, I suppose you could have another room. That might technically be considered better. Oh, don't mind me, I simply can't help myself. But do come see me if I've piqued your interest. Okay. Oh, hmm. 
We are home. I think adding a new room would be nice if we add it onto the back. It won't change the look of the home, but you'll get so much more space. It'll also keep the construction costs down, relatively speaking. This will require taking out a loan for $348,000. All right. Excellent, I'll get the construction started right away. Everything should be ready for you by tomorrow morning. So exciting. Exciting indeed. Alright, further debt. But now I can make a kitchen. I'm forgetting something for today. What am I forgetting? patient. So impatient. Uh. Okay, there. Uh, I needed you. So I sold the first couple of fish, so I didn't donate that one. I think I'm gonna have to start closing my not my eyes. And just go by sound. <laughs> Otherwise I'll never get the hundred in a row. Cop ladders. Alright, lay it on me. Facts. The yellow perch is certainly worth scorping. Yeah, there. Certainly worth squawking about, I find it a sight to behold. 
that jagged dorsal fin, those brilliant stripes, those glorious colours, who it truly is quite the specimen. I would be thrilled to witness it firsthand in its natural environment, but the yellow perch's peak season is winter, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm so very afraid of winter's chilling, biting chill. I can't read anymore. It's like approaching. Well, it's almost 10:30. Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. The closer it gets to midnight, the worse my reading gets. Gonna be patient this time. Okay, that's a new one. There's all. Tell me, please. Goldfish are so cute and delicate, but do you know how big they can get? Why, they can grow up to a foot in length. Well, sometimes. The size of the tank they're kept in tends to restrict their growth. And just how big will this goldfish get in our large museum tank? I look forward to finding out. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? For someone that keeps getting woken up, Blathers is polite. <laughs> Probably gonna wake him up again. Ah, oh, it's a tadpole, it's fine. It's fine. I don't know what else to do with that statue. Thank you. 
I should probably do a round of bait. Ah. I think I might have to start closing my eyes. Or maybe doing this during the day or it's not so late at night. That's nice. away before I do anything accidental. I guess while the other houses are being built, there's not a whole lot of point going to other islands. I don't think I'm going to run into anyone. <laughs> really? Fish. Probably customize the rod so it doesn't break. Forgot to do that.
Ah, that's that tall. I saw it hoping for another goldfish. can make the shoes. I'm, I'm gonna go in a horse race or something. I just need the rider's crop and the helmet. This, I remember, looks nice if you just display it. which wood is gonna get used. I guess. I don't have a lot. Why is that pole so gigantic? It is normal size. It just, I don't know. It looks gigantic to me.
to have anything else. I haven't even looked. I don't think I have this. Oh, that's... Yeah. That's probably gonna come in handy. Right, what did I just get? Brick oven, kitchen net. Plain sink. I'm surprised it didn't just send me that one. Again, not sure what it's going to ask me for. Softwood. I'm gonna need a few of these. I'm thinking four spots, that's so like eight in total. Oh, wow, that was quick. Softwood. I have now. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's eight. It goes pretty much all the wood I collected today. I can get up from any spot, really. Okay. Probably not obvious enough to do that. I think I may have needed one more. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, honestly, for now, it does cover a lot.
Not a lot up. But otherwise, yeah, now we can climb pretty easily. What's up? Do you want more reactions? You gotta check this out. Use that if you ever see me get beat at arm wrestling, because of course you'd be shocked if that happened. set up. One thing that did bother me. There we go. For the sake of symmetry. stuff back now. today. It's like a solid two and a half hours. I gotta wait until the new villagers move in before it progresses more. Okay, well, yeah. Thanks for tuning in if you were here for Animal Crossing. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end as well. And if you want to support the channel in any way, the easiest way to do it is just by clicking any of those buttons, like the like button. Uh, I do appreciate those that do do that. It helps out a lot and lets me know what people are into and to do more of that sort of stuff. But yeah. In the meantime, if you want to watch any more of my content, if you're on YouTube, just click any of the two videos that popped up. But till next time, bye YouTube.